hey YouTube, it's the Micro Garden, and today I'm here showing you guys some different things that's been happening. Next to me, I have some really exciting stuff that's been happening, and I wanted to show you guys. So first off, I'd like to uh, wish you all a happy holidays. Uh, I know it's about two weeks till Christmas, but I'm not sure how often I'll be filming because we do, we do have a really, really busy schedule. Um, but anytime I do have something to film, I will film it. And um, Zoe's over there getting into trouble again. Um, one second, hold on. Alright, sorry about that. She wanted some piece of paper over there. I have no clue why she does what she does. She's just a dog. Um, but, where was I? I uh, lost train of thought. Um, oh, okay. So, yes, I do have some exciting things that I wanted to show you guys today. And, um, really, I, I haven't been too impressed with all of that's been sprouting. Um, the, the dwarf pomegranate seeds... Uh, I need my money back, so I contacted the seller. Uh, they're all failed. I I put an entire packet in, and not a single one sprouted. And uh, same way, I've always gotten them to sprout, so they were really bad seed. I'm not too happy about that. Um, the uh, cashews are taking a little bit longer to sprout than I had anticipated, but they're huge. Um, I, I pulled one out of the soil. I'm not going to do it anymore because I don't want to mess with them. But I pulled them out of the soil because they were starting to heave the soil up. And uh, they, they like, they're seriously probably double the size that they were when I first put them in. So they're going to be putting down roots any day now. And so they're coming along. Um, what else? Uh, the papayas haven't sprouted. I've had them in the soil for a long time. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just stuff hasn't really been going the way I originally planned. Um, but it's just taking a little bit longer. It's not that it's not coming together. Uh, there's actually a lot that has been going really, really well, and that's what I'm going to show you guys today. And um, first off, I'm going to show you the the things that have sprouted, and then I'm going to go into actually something that you guys have a choice for. I'm going to start giving you guys some choices uh, of what you guys want to do to get you guys to kind of interact and make things kind of fun. Um, because it's a learning experience, and uh, I think if we all learn together and maybe learn from our mistakes, maybe we'll... Uh, learn a little bit faster because this, I'm not going to lie, this this whole exotic plant thing has a huge learning curve. Um, I never would have imagined it. I thought it was just, oh, I have a green thumb, I can grow plants. It's really, really difficult. Um, there's just different ways to sprout seeds. There's different methods, different temperatures, soil types, nutrient levels, pH. It's just, God, yeah, it's so confusing and not easy. Um, but um, I'm attempting to make it easy to show everyone that it is easy um, and everyone can do it. So uh, without further ado, uh, I'm going to uh, show you guys the sprouts. Um, I will bring you guys in close because I realize you can't see these. So hold on one second. All right, so first off is the pepino. And the pepino melon is sprouting. I got uh, two sprouts out of two seeds. So 100% germination, great seed, um, really easy to sprout. Uh, the way I sprouted it was I just planted it about a quarter of an inch deep and I kept it on a heat mat for about five days and I covered it with a little bit of cellophane to keep the uh, humidity in and had absolutely no problem sprouting it. So Pepino Mountain, they're up and sprouting and not looking too interesting yet, but they will be. Next is <laughs> the goji berry. Now this one I haven't shown. I've actually had these sprouted for a while now, but as you can see, really, really healthy plants. I actually had to thin them because I planted about, I'd say 15 seeds. I wasn't sure how good of a germination rate I'd have. Literally probably about 13 came up. So very, very, very good germination rate. If you guys haven't tried growing goji berries, very easy one to sprout. Again, I had this one on a heat mat about 82 degrees. I think I had it set at with um, cellophane over the top to keep the humidity in and I had sprouts in about five days so really great germination rates and very very easy to grow I've actually thinned like I said probably about 10 out so um, so good and those are growing great next is the mini pear uh, this is really exciting because I planted three seeds got two seeds to germinate and this one is just growing like a champ uh, I put out its first set of adult leaves about I'd say two days ago 
and it's already starting to grow more and as you can see it's just really really healthy and so uh, mini pear next is the casa banana and the casa banana is going to need a transplant fairly soon got a little bit laggy but uh, that's just because it's under like artificial light and uh, it's really hard to get fully sufficient light for uh, seedlings but nonetheless it's gonna I'm just gonna transplant it plant it right up to here it's gonna do great uh, it's already putting out its first set of adult leaves looks really really cool and it almost looks like a maple leaf um, but yeah, so this is the cast banana, and if any of you guys have not seen a cast banana, um, it uh, it looks like a giant brown cucumber, I guess maybe. I don't. It's it's not really like anything I've ever seen before, but it's it's really really cool. It looks nothing like a banana. So um, yeah, uh, the next is really exciting is the loquat. Now the loquat, if you can't see that. I got one leaf sprouting so far. I actually got these seeds sprouting, so I'm not totally sure if you were to get the raw seed, what the germination rates would be. 100% um, of them were already sprouting when I got them, so um, I knew I was gonna be able to grow something. And um, yeah, it's coming up really, really great, and it's very healthy, so uh, this is a low quad. I had a lot of requests to grow this, so I'm glad I'm finally growing it. And last but not least is what you guys have a choice over. Now. As you guys can see, this is the uh, larger goji berry, and as you can see, it's very tall and bushy and kind of uh, kind of messed up. So what I propose doing is is asking you guys what you want me to do. Um, I don't care. Whatever I, whatever happens with this happens, and I know how to grow it. Um, pretty well apparently because it's put all of this growth on since I bought it. Alright, so what I'm asking you guys is put in, please put in the comment box below would you like me to cut it off here and see if we can get it to bush out at the bottom and keep it really really short and stubby or would you like me to continue bushing it out at the top and see if maybe we can uh, thicken the stem a little bit and get it to shrub out a little bit make it more of a, a mini tree. Um, either way, it's totally fine by me. I don't care what, what we do with it. Um, so uh, tell me what you'd like to see and then I will do that. I will add up all of the, the comments in a little vote and um, we'll either cut it or leave it. Either way, it's going to grow great, I think, and um, I'm pretty excited to see what you guys have to say. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will be doing a lot more episodes coming up since I'm done with school finally. I will be doing a Christmas episode next week. I just did a Christmas episode on the My Gardener channel, which was a lot of fun. I enjoyed doing it. It was a total blast. Um, but I will be doing a pruning video as well and any other random episodes that I kind of think of uh, because this is just fun. I just enjoy filming and coming and showing you guys things. And I do, I do find it a lot of fun and uh, it's enjoyable so uh, like I said please vote on the what you want to do with the goji berry and then I think probably uh, I'll give it a day or two and then I will um, I'll do that I'm not gonna make a video of it I'm just gonna tally up the votes and uh, and do what you guys want so alright I will catch you guys later I got stuff I gotta do so I will see you later see ya bye